Hey, what's going on everybody? Fireman AF here. Um, so I'm making a new install video for my EMBs, and the reason I'm making a new one is um, actually because some of my presets have been getting updated with EMB weather support. So I actually have two install videos out there, um, one that includes the non-weather support and one for semi-realis that I've been kind of using and uh, posting on my other EMBs like MVT EMB, which has been slowly getting updated with EMB weather support. Um, so I'm just making a one install video that will walk through um, how to install my EMBs, whether it's using EMB weather supported or non-EMB weather supported. Um, and I'm going to show you exactly what you need, uh, how to install it, such as SKSE and EMB helper. Um, and uh, just kind of walk you step by step. So for the new user, it's not um, so overwhelming and crazy. Uh, so I will try to answer as many you know, uh, questions that people may have um, in this video. So I do apologize for the length of the video if it feels too long or too much information. It's for a reason, and it's because I get asked a lot of questions, and I want to make sure that I do make that clear and just really show how easy this is um, to do. So the first thing we're going to kind of go through is just what we need, how to download it, get your stuff ready, and then step-by-step -step install the EMB, then install SKSE, and install the EMB helper and uh, the weather mod. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about uh, what we need, and let's go ahead and download those things that we need to get the install process started. So the, probably what you're doing is you're starting on my EMB page, whether that be MBT, Reengage, Semi-Realis, or um, Intrigued EMB. Uh, you're going to have to pick whatever one you're going to be using. Uh, some of my EMBs only work with one particular weather, and some of them, like MBT or Reengage, have multiple presets. Um, so you're going to have to pick what you want to use and the weather mod that you're going to use. So um, each preset is based and built for a particular weather mod. So like for in this example, you can see that MVT has you know presets for Golden Mighty, Vivid, Cot, etc. Um, so you're going to want to pick the preset that you're going to use. Um, for me, I'm going to go ahead and install Obsidian Weather version. And you'll notice on some of my EMBs that the preset will have next to it EMB Weather Supported. And what this means is that the EMB supports the ability to uh, read the weather that is being loaded by the weather mod and load a specific EMB preset based on that weather. So it allows a little bit more flexibility in the visuals of the EMB based on whether it's like a clear weather or rainy weather, whatever. I highly suggest using that functionality um, if you notice that the preset supports that. Uh, you'll need a couple extra things installed later, which we will show you, such as SKSE and EMB Helper. And I will walk you through that install process later. Um, if you download the preset and it does say EMB Weather Support and you don't want to use SKSE and EMB Helper, the EMB uh, will still work, however. It just won't adjust based on each weather. So you're going to go ahead and pick your preset. In this case, I'm going to use Obsidian. And you notice here that there's only a manual download button. And the reason is for that is because a mod manager cannot install EMB. It just does not install to the right directory. So you have to install manually. You're going to have to install it yourself. And that's going to be an easy process, and I will show you that too later. So go ahead and click Manual Download, and it will download uh, the EMB to, or, uh, to your download folder. When you click on it, it's going to pop up with this window, um, and it will list the weather mod. It will have the link for SKCE, uh, EMB Helper. Um, you're just saying that you need these items for it to work. Obviously, you don't need every weather mod, just the one that you're using. And then you'll hit Download, and it will download to your download folder. Now, the next thing that we're going to need is the EMB binary. And I have it linked on my mod page. It's linked in the YouTube video description below as well. But it's going to bring you, um, actually, the link will bring you to this page right here. And you're going to want to click on the version of the binary that you're um, going to use. Right now, it's 386. By the time you watch this video, it could be later. But you're going to go ahead and click on the 386 or whatever number it is. And it's going to bring you to this page. You're going to want to click this download button down here, not this add up here. Make sure to click the download button down at the bottom left corner, and it will download um, the latest uh, binary for you. Um, and then we're going to go install that in a little bit. So, and I've already downloaded, so I'm going to download. The next thing you're going to need is the weather mod itself. So like I said, I'm going to be using Obsidian Weather. So I'm on the Obsidian Weathers page. I'm going to come here to the Files tab, and I am going to download the uh, Obsidian Weathers mod. Now, this one can be installed via a mod manager. So you can just go ahead and click Mod Manage Download. Unless you're using something else, then you would have to manually download and install it. But I'm going to show you how to use it through Vortex, which is what I'm currently using. So you click that, and it will install to your mod manager. And I'm going to hold off on the, the next two items. Actually, you know what? I'm going to walk you through that right now. 
the next one is the EMP helper, which is also linked. Um, so this one, you're going to go over here to the files tab. And this one can be installed via a mod manager as well. So you'll go ahead and click on that, um, and that will download to whatever mod you're using. Again, I'm using Vortex. And then the last thing that we're going to need is SKSE. Now, again, this is for those using the EMB Weather Support preset. The EMB Helper and SKSE are needed for those. For the non-EMB Weather Support, you do not need EMB Helper or SKSE. So you'll come to this page right here, and you're going to go ahead, Current SE Build, and then you're going to hit the 7-zip archive right here, and that will download to your download folder. So those are the things that you pretty much need right there. You need the EMB, the EMB Binary, the Weather Mod, the EMB Helper, and SKSE. Again, EMB Helper and SKSE is required for the EMB Weather Supporting Presets. So let's go ahead and start the install process next. All right, everybody. So we downloaded the files that we now we need to install them into the game so that we can get them up and running. So what we're going to first start off with is installing the EMB binary itself. So I've went and moved my files to the desktop so it's easier for you guys to see. Um, they're going to be in your download folder or whatever folder that you have where your stuff downloads to. But what we need to do is extract the manual uh, files that we, we downloaded. So that was, again was the EMB binary, SKSE, and then the EMB preset itself. So I recommend using a program called 7-Zip. Uh, your PC probably already has something, um, but if you find that it has uh, issues such as the file path too long or just doesn't extract right, try using 7-Zip. It's a free program online, and it will solve the problem for you. So you're just going to right-click on the program and extract the file. So you can see I got the three here. What we're going to do is go ahead and open up the EMB binary folder right here, and then open up this wrapper. You're also going to need access to your Skyrim Special Edition folder. I am. Um, it's the folder that has your, uh, your EXE for your game. Uh, this is where this, most of the stuff's going to install to. So go ahead and bring that up and have it open so that we can go ahead and copy and paste some files in there. So for the EMB binary, there's only two files from this folder that we need. It's the D3D11 and the D3 compiler. Again, it's only those two. I don't need everything else. Um, I already have it in my EMB preset. So go ahead and click these two. Right click, copy, and go ahead and paste into your Skyrim folder. So that is it for the binary. It's pretty easy, quick. Um, we can go ahead and close this folder out, and we're going to go ahead and install the EMB preset that you went and chose. Again, for me, I'm for the example, I'm using MVT Obsidian. So go ahead and open up that folder. Keep the Skyrim folder open, and you're going to notice that there's multiple folders in here. Um, all we need to to at least get the EMB installed and running is this folder one. And then you're going to notice that there's three presets for you to choose from, full quality, quality, and performance. I always recommend start with full quality and install that and then see how your PC handles. Um, then if you find that it's too much, you go ahead and switch to quality or even performance. Performance has most of the effects disabled, while quality has most of them with a few heavy hitter FPS effects disabled. And then full quality has got everything. But we're going to go ahead and install the full quality. And so when you open up that, there's going to be four items in here. Go ahead and take all of those and then right click, copy, and paste into your Skyrim folder just like that. Now, at this point, EMB could actually run in game. So, for those that aren't using like EMB weather supported function and uh, want to go ahead, you can go ahead and start the game up. Your EMB will actually run right now in game with no issues. But we're going to go ahead and continue on with um, installing the weather mod, SKSE, and EMB helper. Especially for those that are going to be using that weather support um, function, you need that SKSC helper. So let's go ahead and do that next. So we'll close this folder out, and we're going to do SKSE. So you're going to extract that file and open up that folder. Now for this, you're going to take everything that is in here, right-click, copy, and then paste right into your Skyrim Special Edition folder, same place that you installed the EMB. So go ahead and paste in. It's going to make me overwrite because I already had it installed, so I'm just going to hit replace. For those that are doing it for the first time, you're not going to have that message. Now, SKAC, most of you might already have that installed because so many mods um, require it, um, so this may be a step that you don't need to do. But for those that don't have it, um, it's really easy, and uh, don't let the you know thought of, oh, i got to install SKAC um, overwhelm you. It's actually a really simple process, as you just saw. So. There we go. So we installed the binary, we installed the EMB preset, and we installed SKSE. 
the manual folders that we downloaded. So let's go ahead and bring up Vortex next. And the first thing we're going to do is install the weather mod. So I'm using Vortex. Some of you may, might be using like Mod Organizer or something, but I'm going to go ahead and install mine. And so like I said, I already downloaded it. And there, Obsidian Weather is installed. Uh, you may be using something else like NAD or Vivid or whatever. You're going to install it the same way. The other thing that we did was EMB Helper. So go ahead and do that. Uh, so there it is right here, and I'm going to go ahead and pull that mod. And now I got uh, the EMB helper and the weather mod installed. So my game is ready to run. I got everything I need to play, and it's that simple. Uh, not, hopefully not too overwhelming. Um, there's a couple things I'm going to go over now. I'm going to, for those that just want to get in and play the game, you can stop this video. Um, you're good to go. Uh, for everyone else that kind of wants to know what the other optional files in my EMB download folder are, I'm going to go ahead and cover that stuff now. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so two things I wanted to cover real quick, though, before I show you the other uh, files that are in my EMB download. Uh, remember when using SKSE, you actually have to launch your game through the SKSE loader, uh, not your Skyrim XE uh, loader. So in your, when you installed your game, you have this SKSE64 loader. You want to click on that to actually launch your game. Otherwise, SKA, SKSE is not going to work in your game. Uh, so just make sure you do that. Second, I want to talk real quick about the EMB local because I have gotten some questions on that. Like, why does my game take a little bit to, uh, longer to load up at first, blah, blah, blah. So um, I know I have another video that talks about this, but I'm going to cover it real quick. Shader Cache is enabled by default when you install my EMB. And what that does is that it will automatically like cache the, the settings so that the next time you load the game, it will load up even faster. But if you're one that's adjusting settings in your EMB and, or switching presets, I would recommend that you come in here and just go ahead and disable that, like turn it to false. Also, I have the FPS limiter set to um, 59, just because the Skyrim engine physics don't act very well above 60. But if you want to go higher or set it lower, I would recommend that you come in here and change that as well here. So those were the couple things I wanted to cover in this file, um, especially for um, people that do not know that these settings are EMB local. So, um, all right, so let's go ahead and talk about uh, what was in my EMB uh, preset um, that I mentioned earlier. Uh, so when you open up this file, there's a couple different things. The main file, optional DOFs, additional settings, optional ring textures. So the main file we already talked about with the different preset qualities. Um, again, it has just different, uh, full quality has everything on. Quality has a couple things like the shadows, um, disabled, um, uh, image-based lighting, and depth of field. All that's disabled um, in this. And then performance has all that stuff disabled. It's mainly just your color effects and uh, sharpening and HDR and stuff like that that are on in that. Um, I again, recommend that you watch my other video um, that kind of walks you through how to disable or adjust certain EMB effects. So we back up, we have optional DOF strengths. So you may be one that likes a stronger depth of field or maybe just a more static or just a soft. Um, so I have given you some optional DOF strengths for you to use. Default is already installed when you install my main file, so there's no reason for you to go ahead and install that. Um, really, you don't have to install any of these if you already like the default DOF that's in preset. The reason I have that in here is since if you end up switching and then decide you want to go back, um, you have the option right here to go back. But if you're one that, let's say, you know, you want like an extreme depth of field, you can go ahead and open that and copy this right here and then paste in here and then allow to overwrite. And then you will have extreme depth of field installed. Uh, if you want to go back to the other one, you can just go ahead and open this, copy and paste in here. Adjusting EMB settings. This is just a quick guide. Um, in here, it's uh, just a couple key things. I would recommend more watching my video that I have that kind of walks you through it. But if you just want a quick snapshot, like how to adjust a um, interior night settings, whatever, it kind of just shows you a picture on how you can adjust the EMP effect, like different time uh, day settings, such as brightness, saturation, contrast, etc. You know, uh, switching between, you know, or you know, your SMAA right here. Uh, for anti-aliasing, uh, you know, it's just a couple key things in there for you. 
the optional rain textures. So the optional rain textures is actually disabled by default within the EMB uh, because I find that with SE, the rain just doesn't uh, look as transparent, so it often shows up black. But if you're one that wants to get in here and try this, you can try um, these different rain textures. Uh, what you have to do is just come in here, and copy this, and paste in um, to your EMB series folder right in here, which is, again, when you're in your S Skyrim folder, EMB series, and then paste it in here. The other thing that you would need to do um, is enable EMB rain in your EMB series uh, any file, which go ahead and open up that. Scroll all the way down to the rain section. Uh, where is it at? Did I pass it? Yeah, it's right here. And then hit enable here. So change that from false to true. Um, and then you can start using those rain textures into your game. You can mess with some different settings. I have found that some weathers it would look good. Um, some weathers it would not. Meaning when I say weathers, I mean like heavy rain or light rain, whatever. Um, and then times a day it would look good, and then sometimes it did not look good, it was black. So you can just mess around with it and try it yourself. So um, so that's pretty much it um, as far as these optional. If you ever want to just uh, take my EMB out, it's a pretty simple process. You just come up here, click on EMB cache, EMB series, D3 D11 compiler, three, um, the D11 DLL, EMB local, and EMB series. Those six things, and hit delete and it will remove out of your game folder and you won't have EMB installed anymore. Um, if you're wanting to switch presets real quick, I'll cover that. It's easy as far as just um, taking this, you know, say you want to switch to quality, come in here, copy these and paste over. Now I recommend always removing the EMB when switching to a whole nother preset, like such as say it's going from Obsidian to NAT or whatever, or different EMB, remove it and then install fresh. And the reason I say that is because some EMB presets have different files in the EMB series folders and stuff, and those could be left behind because they don't overwrite and could make your game look uh, completely different than what was intended by the EMB author. So I hope I answered all your guys' questions. I hope you felt that the EMB was pretty easy to install and not all that overwhelming. Again, I apologize for the length of the video. Again, it was because I needed to cover some things that I always get asked or could get asked. So I just wanted to make it really simple. For the first time user. So if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments, hit me on my, my, my mod page, and I really do hope this video helped. All right, enjoy. Thank you guys.